super yachts seem to be among the last modes of luxury transportation to bend toward the growing consumer demand for eco-friendly engine designs. With their top deck swimming pools, private screening rooms, state-of-the-art kitchens and saloons, and onboard beach toys like jet skis and motorboats, super yachts represent the very top of luxury living. It's the ultimate luxury and ultimate independence, giving owners the ability to instantly pull up anchor and sail or motor off to anywhere in the world that catches their fancy. Owning a yacht means owning something exclusive. Most of the time we are talking about a really unique masterpiece built to satisfy the owner's wish to own something fully customised. Some yacht owners live most of the year on their boats, others use it for only occasional travel, experts say. But either way, they seem to be getting more popular with a certain clientele. As the pursuit of luxury moves from goods and services to unique experiences, the ultra-wealthy are demanding that the returns on their most precious possession, time, are maximised in every way possible. But the news from last Monaco yacht show served as a bellwether. The industry meant to cater to the wealthiest among us made a progressive splash with the unveiling of Aqua, the world's first hydrogen-powered superyacht. Designed by the Dutch firm Sino Yacht and Architect Design, Aqua is a nearly 400-foot-long vessel that's run entirely by a renewable energy source. The striking futuristic yacht features five decks, and measures 112 meters, 367 feet. The accommodation sleeps a maximum of 14 guests over four ensuite cabins with an expert crew of 31 on board for efficient operations and stellar service. One of the most innovative features on board is the hydrogen electric propulsion package, which uses liquefied hydrogen stored at minus 253 degrees centigrade in two 28-ton vacuum isolated tanks. The hydrogen is converted into electrical energy by proton exchange membrane fuel cells and with a battery bank. It provides enough energy to power the engines, propulsion, auxiliary systems, and hotel services. Only water is produced as a byproduct. Exterior. The exterior styling has been described as inspired by ocean swells and features a strong inverse bow and uninterrupted lines with sweep from the foredeck to the stern. The grand staircase sweeps from the lower deck swim platform up to the main deck aft, where guests and visitors will pass a gentle waterfall that flows from the massive central swimming pool. Custom-made sun lounges are placed on both sides in the sunshine, while the shaded section holds an abundance of seating areas and alfresco dining spaces for hosting large events. To this end, the upper deck makes use of the full beam and the extensive outdoor area for alfresco dining and effortless outdoor lounging, with a cinema set up for films under the stars and gel fueled fire bowls to further enhance the ambience. Interior. The lower deck hosts the crew accommodation, with the magnificent central stairway the centerpiece of the deck. The central staircase that connects all five decks begins in style, offering views through a screen of fortified glass of the liquefied hydrogen stored in two 28-ton vacuum isolated tanks at minus 253 degrees centigrade. On the main deck, the guest accommodation is forward while the aft area hosts a spacious beach club containing a fine dining setting for all 14 guests, surrounded by handcrafted wooden screens. The circular lounge to the aft can be rotated to turn it into a cinema, and this indoor-outdoor area joins seamlessly with the alfresco lounging and dining area for perfect flow. An owner's open-plan pavilion on the upper deck forward benefits from full-height windows on both sides of the room, in addition to a massive circular skylight. And for privacy, there are wooden screens. The room contains an office area, daybed, grand piano, lounger and seating area with colourful pieces of artwork on the walls and sculptures at the centre of the room beneath the skylight. At the most extreme end of the owner's apartment, there is an aqua room an intimate observation room in the bow, where a couple of guests are surrounded by glass for panoramic views of the surroundings. The upper deck aft provides an open setting for lounging and dining, surrounded by full height windows and sliding shoji grid screens can be employed for a more private setting. When guests want more of an indoor-outdoor experience, 
The living space joins seamlessly with the outside social area to the stern. Who's trying to own it, you may ask? Well, it's none other than Bill Gates, who is the founder of Microsoft and one of the richest people in the world. His wealth has surely rose to the heights of skies and his donations has been N numbers too. But when it comes to spending money on luxury, he isn't talking basic. Focusing majorly on restricting the climate change, Bill Gates surely spends this much as in a way of matching his massive net worth and charity towards the cause. So what do you think of this one and only hydrogen powered yacht of the world? Would you own it if you had enough money? Do let us know in the comment section what your viewpoint is and don't forget to like, share and subscribe.